Experiment one in our project is to go ahead and to clone the oligonucleotides that we chose and designed in, on, on, in our assignment number two. So we have these two oligonucleotides that'll make, that are used to construct the sgRNA, which is the guide sequence to direct Cas9 to clip the genome and yeast where we want it to clip. And the first step we need to do is we, I've, I've ordered the oligonucleotides you guys designed and they've arrived and I have them sitting here in this tube here. They've been in, the, the two oligonucleotides were ordered, were synthesized separately and then we mixed the two together and heated, heated and cooled them so they would anneal together so they'd be a piece of double-stranded DNA. And next, the next step we're going to do is we have over, we've given you in this tube right here um, a solution that's already been made up for the ligation, and this consists of DNA ligase, the buffer for DNA ligase, and it also includes uh, a digested version of PML 104, 107, sorry. And it basically it's all ready to take in to be able to use to clone the oligonucleotides. And this solution already is set up. It's nine microliters already. And what we need to do is we need to add one microliter of the oligonucleotide. So I'm gonna use a a P2, or I guess it's listed as being SL2 on these newer versions of the pipettes in the lab. And I'll put a tip on, and I will take one microliter out of this solution. And add it to the 10 microliters of previously made buffer. And dispose of my tip. And now what I'll do is this sample will go in and sit at 37 degrees for about an hour. And then at that point we'll add this mixture to some competent cells and I'll show you how to do that later. Thanks. And now I'm going to walk over to the 37 degree incubator. If you don't know where it is, feel free to ask me or one of the TAs and we'll show you where it is. Thank you and we'll be right back. All right. So, so far what we've done is we've actually taken our oligonucleotides and then ligated them to a digested plasmid that we're going to use to, that had to use to do the CRISPR experiment. This plasmid has Cas9 in it. It has a coding region for the sgRNA. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert an oligonucleotide in that sgRNA to clone it to direct it to a particular part of the yeast genome. And the first step we need to do, we've already had, we've, we've ligated the solution is sitting here in the, in the thing and we've ligated it and it sat for 37 degrees for one hour. And we have a couple of controls. This sample here is a, a control plasmid that we have that we know transforms well. It's, it's PML 107 that's not been digested. And here we have a, a, a tube that has PML 107 that's been digested to be able to accept the pla that there was the, the material that we used to ligate the, the uh, oligonucleotides in and we want to make sure that doesn't have any transformants at all. So the first step we need to do is we need to take 10 microliters, the ligation mixture out, and add that to tube, the, my, the first tube, which I'll label trans, um, ligation mixture. Then I flick it around a little bit, take it back on ice, the next is to start doing our controls. And the controls we're going to do is we're going to we're going to add one microliter of the control plasmid. So here's the control plasmid. These will all be given to you and marked. Then our Next control is the negative control. We have the di digested plasmid, and we'll add that to, one, to the tube. Now that I've done that, I'll go ahead and take each of these tubes and flick them a little bit to make sure they're nice and mixed. We need to be kind of gentle with these because the, um, the treatment to make these cells competent makes the cells a little bit weak. 
And so if, you, if you're too harsh with them, they may not grow when we put them on the plates. So I, I've got them, we've added DNA to the confident cells. Now it's time to go over to the 42 degree water bath to go ahead and heat shock them. And uh, we'll do that momentarily. Okay, right now I've gone ahead and, uh, and I've gone to the other lab where we have the 42 degree uh, water bath set up. And I have my transformants in this ice bucket here. And I'm gonna take these three tubes of uh, competent cells and put them in at 42 degrees. So we'll wait 30 seconds and we need and try to make it as close to 30 seconds as possible. Uh, these cells are a little bit fragile. And this is to kind of this technique, this step kind of shocks the cells and to take up the DNA. So once we've waited 30 seconds, we'll be able to go ahead and now put them back on ice. And now that they've, they've been heat shocked, you put them on ice for the 20 to 30 minutes and then be ready to plate the cells. Um, so I'll see you in a minute in 20 to 30 minutes.